In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to import image sequences into Flash. And I just want to make this video because it works slightly differently to other programs. So let's get straight into it. So I'm going to go to File, Import, Import to Stage. And here I've got my folder set up with a large image sequence in it. And it's an image sequence of an explosion effect with an alpha channel. And normally, if I just select one of the frames, in most programs like After Effects, you'll usually have a little dialog box which comes up and says, would you like to import as a sequence or something along those lines. And Flash doesn't have that for some reason. Now, if you try and select all of these frames and import them, it will actually just import them all individually and obviously you don't want that. So all you have to do is just select the first image in the sequence and just press open. And then it'll come up with a box saying, this file appears to be part of a sequence of images. Do you want to import all of the images in the sequence? Just press yes. And depending on how long the sequence is, this might take a little while. Okay, so once it's imported into Flash, if I open up the library here, you'll see all of the images in the library. And then on the timeline, it will lay them out one after the other in its own frame like this. And so just having each of the images on the timeline like this isn't that handy. So what you can do is just select all of the frames, cut, and then go to insert, new symbol. I'm going to make a movie clip, explosion, and then just paste all of the image sequence frames into this new movie clip. And then if I go back on the timeline, I'm just going to drag out my new movie clip. And now I'm just going to go to a line and just center it back onto the stage. And now I have all my image sequences in one handy movie clip like this, which I could actually apply some effects to if I wanted to, if I want to apply some filters. And if I just do a publish preview, and there we go, the explosion effect is in full motion. So when using image sequences in Flash, it should run quite smoothly and it shouldn't drop any frames. And this works better in comparison to importing video footage because video footage tends to lag a bit in Flash. So if it's a choice between importing a video or a sequence, I would definitely try the sequence because you'll get better results. All right, so I hope this helped. And as always, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe.